Been winning like I found the perfect cheat code Social distance shawty, don't get close to people Had a lot of problems but I couldn't keep them So I'm looking a little crusty and dusty They're gonna do my hair on camera as well My face is clean from last night But um, I get oily so I'm gonna take these naturally serious peel press pads And just wipe my face with these to kind of prep it Sometimes I do wash it in the morning. A lot of times I do wash it in the morning, but for now, just because we got to be doing a lot, I'm just going in with these, with this pad here. Love them. This is my second purchase. I'm washing my hair tomorrow, well, co-washing it tomorrow. I just washed it uh, maybe like four days ago. Yeah, I'll be trying to do the whole wash once a week thing, but girl, it's a process, so don't always happen. But I'm washing it tomorrow so I can do it for my birthday. Mm -hmm. I wanted to try out some new products. So since uh, I've been using, not been, I've used it one time, the uh, Aunt Jackie's. I was planning to use Miss Jessie's. They didn't have it. So I got the shampoo conditioner and a deep conditioner from uh, Miss Aunt Jackie's. It's cool. I don't really know how I feel about everything yet. Like, yeah, I don't know. You know, so have to give you guys an updated review on that because I won't be using the shampoo tomorrow. It smells good though. But yeah, we're just gonna do this real quick. Just spray a little water on. Got my Eco Styler here. And then I'm gonna spray this on my ponytail when we're done. I am using the leave-in conditioner as well to get it a little wet. So what we're gonna do is we just take the ponytail Girl, and just spray. I really hope you can. I'm um, first prime my skin with the Fenty Primer. This is the um, Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. I like to start with my brows first before I go in my brows since we did, we did just prime. I'm oily. I use setting powder and kind of Set them just a little bit. This is a Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And I'm just going to go ahead and set my brows just a little bit so they're not super oily. And I go to apply the product. And you can see there's barely anything on here. My brows do need to be done. I was going to get them done, girl, because my birthday. I'm filming this. My birthday is in two days. I think and I was gonna get them done but I just do not like rushing it they weren't really they do need to be done bad but I've kind of plucked a little bit on like rushing it because my eyebrows go slow and they already sparse as it is so you know Girl, let me stop. Ow, uh, just scrape my knee on my little makeup thing. So that's done. I'm just gonna kind of brush them up. You can kind of see where any sparse areas may be. Next, we're gonna go in with our soap. Okay, 
so the star of the show the huda beauty faux filter luminous matte foundation is what it's called i am in the color tres leches so let me just open it up with you guys here on the screen. Here's what she looks like. I'm gonna shake it up. Wow, I had to take like three pumps to get enough of what I think will work for me. And then I'm just gonna take my finger and just dot it where I would like. Okay, so three pumps was kind of a lot. So there's that. I think I'm gonna try to use all of it though. Maybe we'll see what this is looking like. So I'm just gonna go in with my, ooh, chap. She's giving skin. She is giving, oh yeah, she's giving foundation wear. So let's see what this little bit is talking about. She's really like, she's, yeah, wow. She's almost better than the, the NARS. And I love the NARS. The NARS, I felt like, uh, what shade have I been using? Sarah Cruz, Sarah Cues, or Cyber Cues, like you said. Um, it's not orangey. I don't really know. This one is just giving real skin. here for it so first impressions it's pretty easy to blend out not as easy as I thought it would be but yeah so far so good girl yeah go all the way up to that scarf dab up in those little edges we'll fix them if need be blending right in my boy Prince all right now, let's do a little booty hole. We don't do that. And then come try to lick you, no! Okay, so from there, I'm going to be pretty. I really just want to see how the foundation wear. Like this KKW Beauty Dark Contour. I'm using the shade Dark One. And I'm just gonna, you know. Give a little something for the girls. Do the little ch ch chisel that up. And I'm gonna do my forehead, but I'm gonna do that after I take my scarf off. And then what I'm gonna do is take the other one. It comes in a two pack with a highlight and contour. I'm gonna take the highlighter one. This is the dark set. I think it's like dark number two or something like that. I'm gonna take the highlight and go in with dark number one. And just kind of, you see how you can barely see it? I'm going to do a little something. Well, I think this is broke. Yep. So I'm just going to use a brush to kind of blend this out. Got a highlighter. I'm going in with this Maybelline Instant Angry Wine. I'm in the shade light. Girl, it could be too light. Y'all say caramel, caramel, or caramel. <laughs> I say caramel. So that's kind of cool. What I'm about to do now is take the dark contour again, the dark number one, and just go down the side of my nose very lightly. You can start from up here. I'm just... Barely going down. Oh, girl, this ain't no barely. But, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do this off first and just kind of blend. I do like her little contour sticks, they are very blendable. So, we're just gonna do this. I don't even know if I should be doing this because I don't like to accentuate my nose, girl. My nose is long. Therefore, I like to. I don't want to make her seem too long because the bridge of my nose be like a ski slope and 
that is not what we're here for but you know they be saying highlight the parts you want to accentuate and contour what you don't so i'm gonna put a little bit right here on the tip girl because the tip be hitting the lip and everything i've been like saying so i'm just gonna blend her out there kind of come down the hey, i was trying to pull out some anatomy for y'all i forget what this is called like right here the conch girl that's in the ear it's not the conch don't listen to me okay so that's what we're gonna do and then girl we're whoa the nose is giving plastic we're gonna go ahead and set her under eye we're gonna mildly bake it's not really a bake but i'm gonna take off my scarf while this is setting so back in with the laura mercier translucent powder oh girl oh okay so we're back all you've missed was i just took off my scarf and then I added a little bit of that dark contour up on the forehead and some of my left leftover foundation that was on my hand. We're giving real flat right now. So what we're about to do is go in with this MAC Cosmetics. This is the shade Sweetest Cocoa. I think it's a bronzer. Or girl, no, this is a blush. Sheer Tone Shimmer Blush. Okay, so before I do my blush and spray some setting spray, this up here is giving a little bit of ash, ashwagandha, <laughs> but the setting spray should help that, and if it don't, I'll add a little bit more um, contour up there, not contour, just, girl, just deepen it up. So I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier powder as well, set my smile lines, girl, it be her right here. Just set them up so the makeup doesn't move. Then I'm going to go in with a little bit of blush. This is the Milani Luminoso Baked Powder Blush. Here. We're just going to dab her on there and go up. Same thing here. Dab her on there and go up. I do this different each time. But she's really pigmented. And she looks low when I go like this. So I smile so far. But we're just going to blend that out, go in circles. So she's looking all right. I think I hit her a little too low on the blush. But you know what? You're not going to know that. Maybe so if you're judging. I look like a clown up there. Oh my gosh. But it's all right. So we've got our blush going on. Girl, we're at six minutes already. I'm gonna tap just a little bit to kind of blend it in. It's not really blending it in, but this also takes a little bit of it off. Okay, we got that going. <laughs> Let's put a little highlighter, girl. Oh, lashes, I ain't doing no lashes. I'm gonna have to do the mock down. Come on. So. You can use a brush and dab it in right on in there. Now, actually, I'm using my fingers because I was going to put them in the put it in the crease of my eye, then realize, oh, shoot, um, I'm not ready for that yet. I have not done lashes. So this is another brush. What did I say at the beginning? Don't judge any of my brushes. She was probably used for powder somewhere along the line. But we're just gonna. And this Luminoso blush kind of already gives you that shine, so you really don't need the extra highlight. I'm just going to highlight right down the bridge of my nose. I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Like, she's okay. She's a little, I don't know. But. just get rid of any 
well, like water splashes, you know what I mean. Girl, where is the lash glue? Pretty much done, I'm just fixing up my hair a little bit. I've added a little bit more gel. I'm just gonna fix the pieces that kind of lost their way. I start out by, my ponytail holder is out. I don't like just brushing and keeping the ponytail there because girl, then you get all that collection right there. It's not cute. So we're just brushing down. Camera's acting a mess. I think I went a little too heavy on the blush as I'm looking at myself, but it's all right. Cause usually I feel like I don't do enough. <laughs> So this is the ponytail. Girl, she kind of looks cute hanging down, but the this is just not it. So again, I like to use these. And I'm just gonna double it like so. And let me hit, I mean my ponytail again. Grab it. I like to watch as I pull through. So this is a little bit better of a bun. She's giving effortless. <laughs> no. Um, we got a little something going on back here. So grandma take her, just gel her up. She was supposed to be in the ponytail, but as you can see, she's like down my neck. So sometimes she don't go. The edges are really aren't that bad. <laughs> Girl! Okay, I'm done. Let me stop. I'm just gonna take a little bit and then just kind of fix up my edges. Not too much, cause I don't wanna disturb the ponytail. Cause girl, once she's disturbed, she's disturbed, all right? Like I said, I have on a lot of blush, I feel like. But, ooh, here she is. But anywho, here she is. Huda Beauty Foundation. I really liked it. I usually follow up with like a spray leave-in conditioner. Just on the ponytail. Give it a little bit of shine. Give it a little bit of a little bit of water, hydration. You can do water too, but girl, the water. I like to use an actual conditioner. Okay, anywho. This is the final look. What do you think? She's kind of giving, I can't really tell on the camera, like the lighting, girl, I hope it's cool. Cause on this side, whoa, she's giving. I'm about to take a picture. And I'm just feeling a little cute. <laughs> Top is from Shein, period. Necklace is from, not from Shein. I'll link it down below. Earrings from Shein. I'm not really a hoop person. However, I've been getting into the hoops for like the locks. Like studs cannot always give what you need it to give. You know what I mean? And so like I said, yeah, this is it girl. Let me stop talking and end the vlog. This is not a vlog. So, oh, final review on the Huda Beauty. I really like it. She's the best match that I found so far. She does dry quickly. Excuse me. So I recommend that you work kind of fast. As you've seen, I applied it with my fingers and then kind of blended it in. If you're a brush person, just go for it. Girl, do whatever you need to do. When I added the second layer on, I still had no problems blending or anything like that. Um, so that's good, you know, because it's buildable. She's very matte. She's giving matte, but I'll have to come back and let y'all know because I have not used a matte foundation that's kept me matte all day. Yeah, nothing has kept me matte all day. I get oily. Very, very, very oil, like oily, like, okay? But yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe. She is just, I'm here for it. You can't even see the orange. Ooh! Girl, we down low with it, okay? Oh, but yeah, I redid my ponytail because you, as you can see now, it's not like doop doop. It's just like one, and then we got a little up there. 
That's why I like to spray this at the end because it gives you curls a little something something. And it don't got to be this, but. Um, yeah. <laughs> Bye. Switch it up. Hey.